everyone welcome back to another tutorial it's that time Halloween is upon us and it's time for a Halloween tutorial um, this is slightly different this is going to be something that a lot of you might not um, think of as a Halloween tutorial um, you know I was thinking kind of a, a spooky landscape or something like that but I kind of just looked at this and I thought yeah I, I have to try this this is going to be so much fun um, I hope you don't mind it's a very scary clown face really kind of a really it's just something very atmospheric about this painting do you know what I mean um, you'll see that one just a moment when I show you the reference photograph let's go and have a bit of fun with this I'm looking forward to doing this a little apprehensive but I hope it's okay I hope it turns out nice and um, look it's just a bit of fun for Halloween anyway that's all it is so grab your stuff if you want to follow me along um, if you just want to have a look and enjoy the company and maybe get some hints and tips brilliant I look forward to um, I look forward to painting this for you hmm I hope it goes all right let's have a look and see what we have okay now I just started um, on some of the background I did a very quick sketch and it was very very loosely done just the you know just around the face and the eyes that kind of thing and then I took a very wet mix of black because what happened was I forgot to press record on the camcorder so I just realized it wasn't recording but basically I just did a quick sketch I took a very watery mix of black okay and put it on and then I added some phthalo blue and white into the mix as it came down in here okay so that's all i that's all i really did and i'm just kind of fading it up into that dark background my fingers look softening everything up <clears throat> so silly me i forgot to press record on that camcorder and i just realized it wasn't recording when i went to check and it wasn't recording so my apologies um there's a reference photograph <laughs> So you can see now what I mean. It's very um, oh, there's something about it. It's just it's it's fantastic, isn't it? Very creepy kind of a, a face. Now I'm no expert in painting faces, so um, I do apologise if I make an utter mess of this. I do apologise. Now I'm just taking a very light kind of a bluey colour, and I'm going to go. You see, what I'm doing is I'm taking a medium, a medium kind of a colour and I'm filling everything in with a medium colour first. Then I go on and put my lights and darks to create um, the shape of the face. If you know what I mean. Now I know there are lots of portrait artists out there probably screaming at the cam at, at the screen saying no that's completely wrong or doing it wrong and look let's just you know i'm not an expert on portraiture but i'm just going to have a bit of fun with this okay it's all about having a bit of fun that's all so let me just sort of fill this in and come down around under here there's a nice bright area under here, isn't there? Around the lips. And it's a real scary kind of a, a photograph, isn't it? Really is. I'm going to soften that up there, just to lighten it slightly. And look, it doesn't have to look exactly like what we're painting either. I'm going to start darkening that bottom section as it comes down. It's getting quite dark down here. Okay, I'm going to leave those lips as there. I'm going to just add some shading in around here gets very dark then in around behind that and it's almost black behind the nose so I'm just kind of going along now this is my process this is how I kind of um, 
This is how I would presume a portrait painting is done by filling in broad areas. Um, it, I mean, it goes almost a complete black back here where you can't see anything. And that's what I like about the painting, or the, the photograph rather, that's what I like about it. It's very, um, there's a lot of, there's so much atmosphere in it. It's, it's, it's actually a lovely representation of light in the painting. I think that's what I'm kind of trying to show. Um, you know, the light in the painting is just, it's a classic example of how to create um, a photograph which just really catches your eyes because it's light and dark. It's just all lights and darks, that's all it is. Okay, let's just fill it all in. And I'd worry about the real bright shades then, later on, okay? Um, I'm just kind of focusing really on getting... the general shape of his head somewhat correct. I'm going to take lots of black and a hint of brown, and I'm going to go very dark over here, okay? In fact, I'll switch to my large brush, my large stubby, and I'm going to take some black the brown. I'm just going to darken this here. Darken it all in, soften it together. You can see now it's sort of starting to disappear, isn't it? Now I know again my lines are completely wrong. That's okay. Let me get some more black. So there won't be much trick-or-treating this year, I'd imagine. Certainly not where I am. There's nobody allowed outside trick or Well, you can go out, but, you know, they're advising people against it, going trick-or-treating. So um, let me know what's going on in your area, where you're living. I'd love to know. Now, I'm going to kind of soften this in here. It kind of almost kind of disappears into his face, doesn't it? That black colour. So I'm just trying to create this kind of impression of it disappearing into the black background. Do you understand what I mean? It's difficult. I mean, I know it looks easy when you see the photograph. You think, oh, you know, it's, it's easy enough, but it is actually quite difficult to achieve that effect because I cannot see perfectly on that photograph. Um, there's a bit of a glare on the front of my camera, so it's just a little bit on the tricky side. I'm going to pop it across there, just to sort of make his face disappear a little bit more. Okay. Hmm, it's not bad. Now, I'll go down around here and fill all this in, okay? It's basically just black brown i think a hint of phthalo blue might help as well and i'm going to go really dark now on this side of his face i know there's a bit of a light here as well but i don't know if i'll put that in i'll see um you can be quite in fact you could be quite abstract with this and um, you know just put in lots of thick brush strokes that kind of a painting that would be quite nice as well I'm kind of really focused on trying to capture um, a mood that's the word I'm looking for I'm trying to capture a mood And I hope it's working so far. I know maybe the face is a bit small on the canvas, but I'm, I could make it bigger. I can, we can always make it bigger. We can walk away and make it a little bit bigger as we go. And you can see how it's drying in so fast. 
I could even start putting glazes on this as well if I wanted to. So I could put a very thin black and a very thin blue on this. Now, let me have a look. I might put some more black up on top and I'm actually going to take some more phthalo blue as well. Let me get some phthalo blue here. Now, a little bit of that because that will really add to the depth in that shadowed area up there. That will really give it some nice depth. And I want to cut across sort of into the face a little bit. Hope that makes sense. Now, we soften that across. Go up over the head as well. And I can kind of feel it starting to come together a little bit. Now. Okay, I will leave it at that. I think now I'll just switch to um, a small brush. Well, my medium flat that I just used. And I'm going to now start putting in some, um, some lights and shadows, that kind of thing. So I'm going to start with, I think, the darks. I'm going to start putting darks in. I just need to get more black. I want to have plenty and plenty of paint on my palette before I continue on. Um... You could even, you could start with the lights or you could start with the darks. I think I'll start putting in some of the darks first. I'm going to use phthalo blue with black for this because I think, I think the phthalo blue will really help. Now, um, center of his nose, so it's slightly to the right hand side of his nose, isn't it? Comes like that and then goes like that. There's a bit of light catching. And then it's pretty much dark all the way along here, isn't it? Now, I might add a little bit of brown into this. Because, strangely enough, there's a lot of brown in this photograph. And I'm going to go along under his nose. You see, his nose now should be down much further with his lip. There's too much of a gap here, isn't there? So that's the problem. Um, I'm going to come down this side here. And I'm going to lighten it slightly then as it comes down. Allow it to come into the light. Okay, like so. I'm going to soften that into the background again. There we go. And I'm also going to start lightening his nose. I'm going to do this dab, dabbing effect. You can almost see it on his nose, can't you? This kind of rough sort of effect, like rough makeup or something on the skin, rough skin even. And then I'm going to dab that back and leave it disappear into that there, okay? So now we're starting to get a little bit of shape, aren't we? Um, now I'm gonna take another bit of, let me see now, I'll take a hint of blue and I'll take a hint of black and some white. And I'm going to just pop in it's a bit too light. A couple of darks just here and there. Some very, very subtle shades around under the eyes. And it sort of gives you the direction of the face and the skin and all that. You know the direction of which way it's going. And it gets dark again over here. Alright, like that. Then up over his eye as well. There's another bit. 
sort of comes down like that. I'm just basically now trying to, what I'm doing is, if you squint your eyes, you will see the darks and the light, they kind of pick out in different areas. Um, one thing I do when painting landscapes as well is, I always kind of half close my eyes, and what that does then is, it allows you to see just the lights and darks in a landscape. Do you understand what I mean? It's something worth trying. And it allows you to just kind of put in the lights and darks. Now, let me just have a look at this. Okay, that's there, needs a bit darker there. And again, I'm gonna soften this in. Slightly. The nose is gonna come down a bit more here, okay? So I'm gonna make that a bit darker. And I'm going to put a little bit in here. But look, it's a very slow process. We're getting there slowly. I know this eye is a little bit lower. So I'm going to put that up a little bit higher there. Okay. And then up over that, up over his brow. There we go. And it almost disappears into black again, doesn't it? So you see there's lots of black in this painting. Lots of it. And I'm going to kind of create now the sort of center line between the two eyes. There's kind of a you can see a sort of a line going up there between the two of them. A lot of finger work in this, isn't there? A lot of work with the hands, but that's good. It's nice to use the fingers every now and then for a change, isn't it? I hope this is coming on all right now. Oh, geez, I, you know, I don't be making a mess of it. Um, okay, I'm going to do a bit of work down in this corner here. You can see a little bit of dark colour down here. So I'm going to go up like that and then I'm going to soften it all down. Alright, and again, I'm going to go over here. Create that kind of look under the eye. A little bit more shade here. Now, I'm not going to concentrate too much on all of this. Um, only because... I want to put a bit of time into the eyes and the nose and all that kind of stuff, you know what I mean? So I'm not going to put too much effort into the outside of the face, if you know what I mean. Just kind of give it a little bit of texture, perhaps. A lot of dry brushwork, okay? I'm using lots of dry brushwork. Now, right, I am now going to start perhaps with the nose. Let's get the nose in, shall we? Let me clean my hands and we'll get the nose in. Let me take a sup of coffee. And I move to a smaller brush, okay? Small stubby brush. And I don't know do I need a touch of cadmium red for this. I have crimson. But I may take a touch of cadmium red as well. Now, as I said, it doesn't have to look exactly like the photograph. You can just make your own interpretation of it. A little bit of crimson and a little hint of cadmium red. Um, I'd say it's probably 90% crimson, really. 
So let's just use crimson first. And I wanted to come down a little bit with the nose because there's a big gap there between the nose and the mouth. So I want to fill that in with crimson. Yeah, I'll actually just use crimson on its own, okay? And I'm going to go like that. And I'll go like that. And again, it disappears into black around this side, doesn't it? So I'm going to take a hint of black with the crimson and I'm going to just leave that disappear over to this side, okay? Now you can only kind of slightly make it out really, but not a lot. And then I'm going to almost leave that disappear into that dark there, you see, just around the edge. Now isn't that nice? That's very... Gives real depth, doesn't it? I like that. And I go down around here and soften that across. Take a bit of crimson with a touch of cadmium red and just lighten it slightly over here as it comes across. And I'll dab that in, blending it slightly into the nose. Now, I'm going to go again with some darker colour and just really go to town with dark on this side. And... Okay, I might take a hint of cadmium red, a hint of crimson and a tiny amount of white and just add a little bit of light here and there. Then what I'm going to do is take a very small pointy brush, you find a nice small brush here now. Um, that's not pointy enough. Ah, here we go. Small pointy brushes do wear out very quickly, don't they? I'm going to take some black and some crimson and I'm just going to go right down the bottom of the nose with some rich, dark, blacky kind of a pink, okay? I just want to refine the nose a little bit more. That's all. And, okay, I'll go along here, darken that again. There is so much darkness in this photograph, isn't there? Um, it's kind of tricky because you don't want to make everything just black either. I'll soften that across again, leave that disappear. And add a little bit of dark around there. Now I'm going to clean that, I'm going to pick up some cadmium red and crimson and just refine some of this over here. Take a hint of white with the crimson, put a hint of white around the front of the nose just to give it some light. And again, a little bit there. Okay, I'll leave it at that for now. And let me get the lips. Let's get the lips in, yes? Why not? Come on, let's have a bit of fun with the lips. How's that looking now so far? That coming on? Okay. I hope it looks okay from where you are. Um, some crimson. 
I'll go with crimson and a hint of black, okay? And let's see, now we have a little bit that comes up like that. And then it goes across and go tapers off then, doesn't it? Now a bit more crimson in that. It's fun kind of watching it come together, isn't it? That's kind of, uh, for me, that's the most enjoyable part of it all. Kind of, you know, watching it almost spring to life. It's amazing, isn't it? And it's all done with just a little paint. Isn't that right? <clears throat> now, take a hint of cadmium red in this. Now, there's actually, I meant to put that up somewhere else. Warm it slightly. And I'm going to move to a small brush now. I'm going to take some crimson. And a little black. I mean, it's a very, very blacky pink, isn't it? because it's in shade, obviously. So it almost looks like a black, but not quite. And I'm going to just go over the top with this dark color. And there's a bit of a line that goes down the center. Then I'm going to take some black on its own. I'm going to do all this side in black. And I'm going to come down here and do this in black. I'll actually switch to a slightly larger brush. Okay, a slightly larger round. That will just give me a little bit of better coverage. Now, I'm going to soften that down. Okay, there we go. I'll take that dark rich pink then, and it's going to go, uh, it's going to carry on up here like that. Okay, where it stops. Then, this kind of disappears almost off into the distance, doesn't it? And there's a lot of black in this one then. And I'm just going to rub it off up into that dark background, okay? Now I am going to put some more dark down here. No. So how's that? A little bit better? We then have a little bit of light catching one of the lips. I'm going to use a little bit of white and a bit of blue, a little subtle amount of blue. I'm just going to use that to sort of catch the curvature of the lip. Okay, just there. Um, and a little just there. That's just kind of giving it a little bit of light, that's all. A little bit of that light colour there. Okay. How are we looking? I'm going to come down here and fix this down here. Mm. 
Okay, moving it over a bit. Now, the next section I think I should do is, I might strengthen some of the darks up here on the right hand side. I might just take some black on its own, some nice watery black, and I might just go in and try and darken that somewhat. That's a very watery colour. Okay, just a little. <clears throat> are we looking alive? Yes. I hope we are. I hope we're getting there slowly. I'm going to start putting in some of the lines on his forehead. Because I just I want to get some of those in. I'm going to get my stick for this. Okay. Now, do you want me to zoom in? Or are you happy enough to see me here? You're probably happy enough, I'd say, are you? So, we have... The brow, which kind of comes up at an angle like that. Okay. And then it turns, doesn't it? Like that. Then we have the same on this side. I'll try and keep them somewhat similar. Okay, and I'm just going to kind of soften them back in slightly to the skin. They're not perfect, like they're, they're, they're very kind of rough lines. I'm going to put a hint of a couple of cracks in the skin up there. Just one or two very light kind of suggestions of cracks. And there's a couple coming down the centre as well. And just one or two sort of fading off into the background over there. Okay. Now, I know you probably can't see these very well, but they're there. Very, very small cracks. Um, there's a little bit of... Darks coming down here. Kind of coming across. Right, <clears throat> let me see now. We get this eyebrow in here. Um, so it kind of comes up like that. And I put a suggestion of one over here as well. I should have went a little bit lower with this line here, but what harm? See, it's just a suggestion. One is lower than the other. We'll fix that. Not to worry. Uh, we need to bring this eye up a bit more here anyway. I'm going to just attempt to bring that eye up a bit more. And the eyes are going to be fun. Okay. Now, I'm going to just take a slightly larger brush. I'm going to take a bit of white and a hint of the thalo kind of blue. So a little white, a little thalo blue, and some black. Going to go with a light kind of a bluey grey sort of a colour. And I'm just going to start maybe popping in some lights. You see what I mean? Just like that. And sort of fade them out then. Now that's probably too blue. Let me just get some white and mix it with that black. It's a bit too blue, isn't it? I 
and one of them is very far down compared to the other, isn't it? This one should be really, realistically, it should be up here, shouldn't it? So that's easy enough to fix. We can just bring the black up a little bit further here. Okay. And next I'm going to take another stubby brush, a small stubby. I'm going to start putting in some of the lights around the nose so this real bright area now first of all I just want to kind of first firstly just catch a hint of the light on these eyebrows here there's some really nice light on those isn't there just like that And out the fingers, just amazing, you can do so much with your fingers, can't you? And a little bit of light on the curve of this here. Very, very subtle. And it's a very subtle bit of light on this one here as well. You see, very, very subtle little touches of light, that's all. And even around some of the cracks, some very subtle hints of light as well. And we have a nice bright coming down on the nose, don't we? Okay, coming across. So we're just kind of starting to lighten it now as we go, bit by bit, okay? And we go around the nose, and it gets nice and bright underneath, doesn't it? It's fun, but it's kind of nerve-wracking at the same time. Does that make sense? It's that kind of a painting, because I don't want to mess it up. I want to make a nice painting, but it's nerve-wracking, isn't it? You know, trying to... I want to do it nice. I, I don't want to make a mess of it after I go into all this trouble. So I do want to make a nice painting, but it's fun. I can kind of see it starting to come to life so it's, yeah, it's a lot of fun. It really is. I'm going to go around here just like that for now, okay? I'm going to just start to soften it in. Okay. For a moment then i'm going to take my small brush and i'm going to put some real dark color around here is a curve you can see that and it sort of almost disappears in two i might actually use a clean small clean brush for this that's a good idea isn't it and i can soften it in with that And uh, let me see, let me just go around there, soften that in there. A little bit of dark shading around there. A um, couple of kind of squiggly lines coming down here. And that dark line continues on underneath, doesn't it? A little bit.
How's this looking now? Hope this is um, looking a little better than what it was earlier. Okay. Right. Whew. I think it's time to sit back and take a look at this. Take a look at what we have so far. Okay, what do you think? So, how was that? Are we happy enough? Right, so I'm going to... Um, I think this needs to be a little bit wider or something. There's something that's just not right with this. The proportions are just not right. I think this needs to be a little bit wider here. So I'm going to widen it just slightly, okay? Um, now, I'm, there's a chance I may just make a total mess of this. But it's just, you know, there's just something not right about it. Let me just kind of soften it down. I think that's a little better. <clears throat> now, let me just take a look at the reference photograph here for a moment. Um, we have this lovely line, red line, going across between the eyes. I'm going to try that next. So I'm going to dampen my brush. And I'm going to do more work on the nose as well. I just want to refine the nose a little bit more. But first, let's just get this kind of red line in here. Let's get some crimson. Plenty of turpentine now. Let's water this down. And a little hint of cadmium red, I think. Because it's not a wine. It's kind of the hint of rich red in there. <clears throat> now, it comes from here, don't it? And it turns... And it comes up like that and through the eye, doesn't it? So let me just get this nice and solid now. Like that. Then it cuts through the eye and it comes up on the forehead, doesn't it? But it's a little bit darker up there then, isn't it? So let's imagine this is going straight through and it's going to turn on the eyebrow here slightly then it's going to come almost straight up like that would that be correct i'm going to take a hint of black and add a hint of black into this one like so Okay, I'll do the same on the other side, but it's almost black on the on this side here, okay? So it's coming up like that, and it is going to come through like this. You see what I mean? But it's faded into the background at the same time. Now, once that dries in a little bit, you'll hardly notice it. And again, through here and there we go it's just an impression anyway you know what i mean now i'm going to put a hint of light on this as well with a brighter color so maybe even a hint of cadmium red just to show the light kind of catching it does that make sense So just with the cheek kind of turns, there may be a hint of light catching it just around here. And I might do the same with the nose. So there'll be a hint of a nice rich kind of a red just there. That's not bad though, is it? I mean... You know, it's, for my first portrait, it's not that bad, I don't think. It's my first official portrait, I will say. So, um, you know, not that bad at all. Now, 
Now I'm going to add a little richer red to the mouth just here and there. I'm going to take a little cadmium. Let me just clean my brush. I'm going to take a little cadmium and a little crimson. I just want to pop a little bit of a rich red. Just to suggest some light hitting the lips here and there. Just a hint. Okay, does that make sense? Does that look a bit better? No. And how is that? That's not too bad now, what do you think, is it? Not too bad at all. Um, I'm going to lighten just under the nose just a little because there's a very bright light under there. It's really very bright around here, isn't it? And I'm going to stop it then around here and put in a suggestion of just the top of the lip there, that kind of thing. And I'm going to lighten around here as well, just a touch. Now, you can very easily overdo all of this and just fiddle and fiddle constantly so i'm being careful i want to be careful not to overdo all of this so i might just move on to the eyes i think the eyes are the soul of the person aren't they and if you can get the eyes right you're 90 percent there so i might just concentrate on the eyes for a while um actually just i might just lighten this out here a bit more Now, how's that? Let's move along to the eyes. <clears throat> Once we have the eyes right, then we'll be safe enough. Okay, black. Lots of thin black. I'm going to start with the surrounds of the eyes, and I have to be careful with this, so I want to get this just right. So I'm going to go up like that. Okay. And I'm being very careful here now. I don't want to spoil what we have. Now the trick is trying to get the other one to look exactly the same, isn't it? That's the trick. So I need to be very careful with this. Um, okay, I'll go around here and then come down. How's that? Do they look okay to you? Just be honest and tell me. If you think they look completely wrong, just tell me. I can take it. Okay, let's just darken around here. It's really dark in around here, isn't it? And it's nice with this kind of very dry canvas because the paint sort of dries in and it allows you to really get these nice... Um, thick chunks of colour in without blending too much. Now there's a bit of light hitting over here so I'm just going to go like that maybe a little bit more Okay, and perhaps a hint out here. I can see just the tiniest hint of light sort of catching out here. Okay, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny hint. I don't know if you can see it or not, but it's there. Um, <clears throat> now, eyes. First of all, anyway, I can see a bit of red around the inside of the eye. 
So I'm going to do that. Very dark red. So a very thin amount of crimson. And I'm going to go in here. Put that around the eye. And there's almost just black on the one. The other eye really is almost just black. You can hardly see anything at all in that. But I'll just put a hint of it in there anyway, okay? As I said, it is pretty much just black. And now comes the tricky part. Trying to get this white, make it look like white. So I'm going to go with um, a light blue. I think I'd be safe going with a very light blue first. Let me just take a look at this now. Okay. Now would you like me to zoom in? I think I'll zoom in slightly. Come on, why not? Ah, there we go, look at that. It's a bit better now, isn't it? A little better. Now I'm going to just fill in the white of the eyes first. This is uh, tricky, isn't it? I might take a hint of burnt umber and just in here add a little of that burnt umber. And I'll take a little hint of burnt umber with black just for um, where the shade is catching so where the eye, the white of the eye is in shadow Okay, like that. I'll take a little bit more darker colour with this side. Soften that across. So you can see now we have a bit of a shadow kind of in there, don't we? Now I'm going to use the same for this over here. And it almost disappears into a black over on that side. So let me take some black and burnt umber for this side. So it almost disappears then, you see? It disappears into all this dark kind of colour over here. Soften it through. So there's no definite kind of colour over here. There's no definite lines. Well, I'm going to just actually go under that now with some black. And I'm going to go over the top of the eye with some black. And I'm just going to soften that black out. A bit better. And next, 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 next. I might put a hint of, uh, let me see now. There's a very slight hint of an orange. I don't know if you can see it or not, but I'm going to try it. Don't know, I don't want to spoil this, but I can see a very slight hint of a very dark, browny kind of an orange just in under the eye here. I may even go with a dark plum kind of a colour. I may try a bit of that. Now I know it's not the colour in the photograph, but I think it might work a little better if I have a slightly stronger shadow up there. Okay, now that's not too bad at all. See? I do the same with this one. I take a hint of brown in that. I think the trick is I'm kind of leaving all the colours sort of almost merged together. On the canvas, does that make sense? Now I'm going to put, start putting the yellow in. 
this is the tricky one. This is where I want to really get this perfect. I want to be really proper with this. So I'm going to take cadmium yellow and a hint of cadmium red, okay? I'm going to start with that colour first. And it's a very sort of rich mustard, isn't it? And I don't want this mixing with the black and end ending up going green, so I'm being very careful with this. Ah, we have one. And I know it's a little bit bright now, so let's just darken it down very slightly, okay? A little bit more red. Make it a bit more orangey. And we'll do the same with this one. This is only just catching a little bit of the eye, isn't it? Only just. I don't think it's a bad effort so far, is it? I don't think it's that bad. Okay, it's not brilliant, but, you know. If you don't try it, you won't know. I'm going to put a bit of shadow around just the top of the eye. Just a little bit across. I don't know if you can hear that dog out, outside barking, but there's a dog next door and he's just standing there barking at nothing. It's really, really annoying. So I do apologise. They're just standing there barking. There's nothing better to do than just stand there bark. Now, I'm going to get a small pointy brush. Lots of black. And I'm going to put a little dark line around the eye. Okay? Now, there's probably even a hint of red in this as well. Hint of crimson. It's pretty dry, so I can lean on this. And I'm going to go very carefully. And I'm going to soften that in here. Not too bad so far, is it? And the same with this. Then I'm going to, again, add a little bit of red into this side over here. When I say red, a little bit of reddy brown, that's what I mean. I'm going to just darken across the top of this eye. And I might just darken around this eye as well. It's just about creating shadow on the eyeball itself, you know what I mean? So you can kind of see what, I, what, I, what I'm trying to get at. Now, um, okay, let's see. Ba -ba 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 -boom. Pupils, I think the pupils are next. And that should give us a really, give us some nice life, shouldn't it? So the pupils, let's just go with little circle. Um, another one out here. Well, that's not too bad. And with the pupils then, I'm going to very carefully, with the corner of my brush, um, add a little touch of red just around, as if he has bloodshot eyes. Do you understand? You see, just a touch, the tiniest, tiniest little touch. And I'm going to put some of that red as well through the whites of his eyes. I can see tiny little white veins. Isn't that cool? How cool is that? 
and then I'm going to put a hint of now we need to give him some eyelashes because he does have some eyelashes as well so a couple there and I'll just put a suggestion of one or two here and there okay Then a hint of some light on those eyelashes. Little touch of light blue. Just here and there. Now I can see some darks around the place, just under his eyes. So I want to get some of those darks in, just to give it some more um, shape, you know what I mean? So there's a couple like this coming through here. And we have a couple of darks kind of popping up like that. You can soften them out as well. You see what I mean? Just little things. Um, a couple of little lines around there. I might add a bit more red to his nose and define that just a little more. Okay, look at this. Look what we have achieved here. Isn't this wonderful? Take a little bit of black and I'm going to darken in here just give us a little bit more depth okay and the same with this side of the eye How's this coming on? Hmm. That's not bad at all, is it? Well, I tell you something, I'm happy enough with that. I think for a very first try, it is quite good. It is quite good, I must say. I'm happy. I'm actually happy with my first attempt at a portrait. Well, a scary portrait, albeit, but, you know. Nonetheless, it's a lot of fun. How was that? I think I call that finished. I'm very, very happy with that. You could add, um, if you wanted, perhaps a little white and just pop a little white in, um, just kind of here and there. I'm going to dab, just give this texture, a little bit of texture on the skin, okay? Just here and there. Very gently. And then dab it together, soften it with the finger because there's a lot of light catching the left hand side isn't there just like that, not too much I'm not going to overdo it I'll just refine that nose then just another little bit, okay? Just a tiny, tiny bit. And a little bit of light on the front of his nose. Just to suggest the light catching it, okay? And then we get some real dark colour on the back of the nose. My friends, I'm going to call that finished. I am pretty happy with that. And there we go, let's just refine some of these lines.
And there we go. I will pass actually, don't want me to be a nice idea. Let's put a little hint of bright red there on the lip, just to catch the light. Okay? Just to increase that dramatic effect of the light catching one of the lips. And there we go. Finished. You could tip away with this and add little touches of colour here and there. If you want to, you know, if you really want to follow it along, it's up to yourself. But I am quite happy with that. There we go, look into his eyes. And there we are, a scary clown. I was going to show you the eyes now properly, okay? You can see what I did. Maybe I should have zoomed in when I was doing the eyes. But in hindsight, you know, what can you do? So it fades away up into that dark background. And there we are. I might just soften. Sorry about that. I might just soften this back in just a hint there, okay? Just to give it a bit more form, but that's it. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I don't think that's too bad at all. There we are. And with that, I wish you a very happy Halloween. Boo! Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoy this. Let me know what you think. Um, actually, I have a frame for this. I'm going to stick a frame on this. Let me turn this around here for a moment now. And let me just show you what it would look like framed. Some people do like this kind of thing, you know. Somebody might buy it. Look at that. How about that on your wall? That's a nice scary painting to hang up on your wall now, isn't it? There we go. It didn't turn out too badly at all, did it? Thank you so much. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of fun, wasn't it? Uh, stay tuned. Lovely snow scene coming for next week. Christmas is on the way. Lots of snow. Um, go on, have fun. I'll see you next week. Thank you so much for your support. Subscribe. You're missing a lot of fun. And um, thank you to all my patrons for supporting me. If you want to support me, go to Patreon. Um, a small pledge every month. And there's lots more tutorials there for you to look at and enjoy and try and practice. Okay? God bless. And I'll see you again very soon. All the best.